The big Wall Street investment managers are pushing back against the provision of the GOP tax reform that proponents say would benefit investors by simplifying the rules around taxes owed on security sales. The Senate bill will put a place in a single, far simpler method of calculating a taxpayer's gain or losses from the sale of shares than current law, which allows for a complex and little understood variety of choices. The current complexity may benefit some of the most sophisticated investors, but for most taxpayers it adds needless accounting twists, room for costly errors and encourages expensive and often inefficient tax planning. Current law would allow investors to choose which shares they would sell, so an investor looking to minimize his or her taxes could choose to sell the shares purchased at the highest price, 100 shares at $40 per share, for $450 maximizing the loss for tax purposes. This loss, however, is purely a fiction of tax accounting since the investor actually has a cost average of $30 per share and has made money on the overall investment. The change is not likely to cost most investors, even those in taxable mutual funds, much and may actually save money. It would raise $2.7 billion over 10 years, but that is a tiny fraction of mutual fund management fees, part of which arise from engaging in expensive tax planning of sales and securities. And that ultimately is what upsets the big Wall Street fund managers about this. It levels the paying field with individual investors and cuts into a source of complexity that helps them generate higher fees.